All right, what's up, everybody, and welcome. <clears throat> Whoa, I don't know what happened to my throat there, but yeah, welcome back to another Halo 5 video. Today, we're bringing you guys something a little bit different. We're playing a little bit of a Warzone Assault today, which is something that I don't normally touch. Uh, it's something that I mainly, or well, as as of late, I've been playing it a little bit more. But I used to play this as my as my pistol warm up, and then uh, when Team Skirmish came along, I pretty much only played that. And now that Skirmish is gone. This has pretty much been my go-to for warming up, so I usually play about a game of this every single day, but not the point. Today we're playing Warzone Assault, and uh, if you guys saw, uh, my good friend Cole, aka Proximity, made a video a week or so ago, something like that, where he was just uh, he was just playing some Warzone, just kind of sitting back and talking and having a, uh, a, a real talk sort of commentary, and for those of you that watch my Twitch stream, uh, you, you guys know that I really like to do something uh, similar to that where I just kind of full screen the webcam and I just kind of sit there and, and talk to you guys and it's something that I really enjoy doing is getting to know you guys on a more personal level and uh, you know sit there and talk with you guys and so I thought that and it's, it's pretty much what I'm known for at this point uh, I would uh, I would take a page out of my my, my good friend proximity's book here and uh, and try to do something similar so this is sort of a trial run and as you guys can tell I, I definitely do have other goals in mind uh, with this video which is uh, the Q&A which I'll talk about in a minute but also to just like touch on that real quick uh, people seem to think that it's like a crime when I steal ideas from Cole which I'm not saying that I'm not like stealing ideas or whatever because I'm totally like totally taking all of my inspiration from Cole here but in the same vein as that, like, wouldn't is it not smart for me to do that? I mean, Cole's got almost 20,000 subscribers, and he's much more successful than I am at this point. So is it not smart for me to try to do that? I don't know. I've just never really understood. I mean, people were super upset about me, or not me specifically, but super, people were super set up, upset about not seeing original content, even though just about nothing on YouTube is original anymore. And I don't know, maybe, maybe this is a giant excuse, and maybe it sounds like a giant excuse. I don't know. However you guys perceive it, that's just sort of my opinion on it, and uh, and and yeah. So maybe that's how I, I I live with myself. Maybe that's how I sleep at night, is by telling myself that nothing is original and that uh, it's actually a smart idea for me to steal ideas. But hey, whatever, man. We're almost two years into this game's life cycle, and the pickings are slim. And I don't want to do zero to hero until I have gray hair. So, and I didn't mean for all that. And I I also I didn't mean for that to come off super negative. I just. I saw this idea, like I saw Cole doing this, and it seemed super, super interesting to me uh, the second I saw it. Because me, both me and Cole are, are similar in, in the fact that we are almost never serious. In fact, me, him, uh, me, Cole, and Justin have a group text uh, with just the three of us where we basically just talk about random stuff and give each other shit. We basically talk about anything and everything that's happening, and there is... Like, the majority of the comments made in there are sarcastic, like, negative things towards each other. Which is not to say that, like, it's, it's not, like, negative overall, but, like, I, I, you guys get what I'm saying. It's, like, banter between friends, basically. But we also, and this is something else that we've done a lot, is uh, we also really like to have super real conversations. Uh, we like to, we, me, Justin, and Cole specifically consider ourselves be fairly serious people uh, underneath it all if that makes sense or if that's not too gay of me to say uh, so uh, when, when I saw Cole do this I thought it, it would be it would be something really enjoyable for me to do because it's something that not only do I already do on twitch streams and that I really enjoy uh, getting to know you guys and it's why I enjoy having a discord server which by the way if you are not a part of that there is a link in the description of that please join my discord server it's basically uh, away and you, you can get it you can get it on your computer or on your phone or you know your tablet or whatever device it is that you use uh, it's basically an app where you can join a server of people and you can talk through uh, uh, like text messages and and voice uh, chat rooms and stuff and it's basically you can sit there and you can talk to other people that are interested in the same creator or you can talk to me directly uh, we have some 60 plus people that are a part of my server as of right now and it is a lot of fun and I really enjoy getting to talk to it. like I've I've started to develop uh, personal relationships with all the people that are in my server which is something that I really really enjoy and value is uh, getting to know more people and making more friends so that is something that I 
I value very much and uh, I'm really happy with. So definitely go join my Discord server because there, there's really no reason not to. And if you if you enjoy my content or my personality or whatever it is, or maybe you want to just talk to me more, or you just want to talk to like-minded Halo people uh, that enjoy having real conversations, which we do from time to time, then definitely go check it out because it's a lot of fun and, and I don't think, like I said, there's really no reason not to. So uh, yeah, with all that out of the way, uh, I do want to address the uh, the Q and A, which is something I want to do. Uh, I haven't, I've only done one Q and A in the past, and I did it whenever I hit 1,000 subscribers, which was five months ago, six months ago, something like that. It was a while ago, so I haven't done a Q and A in a long time, and we've actually just surpassed 2,100, which is definitely uh, really cool, but. Uh, I wanted to do it again because I haven't really done one in a while and people seem to ask about stuff like that all the time, uh, whether I'm streaming or just asking tweets or stuff uh, or whatever. I get I get a lot of questions about it and so I thought that it would be something cool to do. So uh, I figured the easiest way to do it is uh, by uh, YouTube comments because not everybody will see a tweet or a live stream or whatever. Uh, so I figured the best way to do it is to just have you guys leave comments uh, on this video. So whatever questions you may have for me, whether it's uh, one question or two questions or even like five or six if you want to leave a comment on this video uh, I will make a video uh, a Q&A video that's completely devoted to that and I don't want it to be one of those Q&A videos it's just sort of lazy content you know uh, because Q&A's get a lot of criticism for being you know easy content and lazy content uh, when people don't have any better ideas but I want this to be like a legitimate Q&A for people that want to uh, know more about me or know more about uh, what I'm about or my interests or uh, you know anything so uh, go ahead and leave your questions in the description of this video excuse me and uh, and yeah I'll be sure to answer them in an upcoming video it's uh, uh, I I know that I've sort of I've sort of slacked off or slacked off right I haven't stopped doing content or anything but I've my uploads have gotten a little bit less frequent and I do want to apologize for that because uh, my only excuse is that I've been grinding Twitch really hard. If you guys are not following my Twitch stream, by the way, there's links in the description, absolutely everything. Uh, but if you're not following me on Twitch, um, I recently surpassed 1.2k or 1.3k followers on there, so I'm growing really fast on there. Uh, I, I normally get about 20-ish viewers a stream, and, uh, and it's a lot of fun. We have a little community growing over there, and I stream. I've been streaming just about every day, every other day. Uh, over on Twitch uh, with the exception being Pro League days and uh, something the really cool that's happening is that if you're interested in COD uh, the World War II beta is going live on Friday the September 1st uh, and it'll be live for four days and I actually have a four-day weekend so I will be home uh, live streaming uh, Call of Duty World War II as well as uh, Halo 5 and I've been playing the classic Halo campaigns as of recent I've been really enjoying that I uh, I sort of fell in love with the Halo campaigns all over again. I don't know if I saw, I saw some video or something. I, it, it might have been, it might have been the Ackman's video where it, it was about Halo Combat Evolved being a masterpiece, but something just sparked my interest in it again. And I've been playing through the Halo campaigns on stream. Uh, and I'm at this point about halfway through Halo 1. We're playing it on Heroic, uh, but just sort of a chill, kick back and relax. Uh, like I said, answer chat questions, talk to you guys and uh, play the Halo campaigns, which is something that's really fun, and I've been really enjoying it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've I've just sort of been enjoying chilling and having fun playing Halo, and uh, I actually have a cool story to tell you guys uh, about. But, uh, yeah, on stream I'm planning on doing uh, the rest of Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, ODST, possibly Halo 4, I don't know. Despite all the criticism Halo 4 gets, I genuinely enjoy Halo 4's campaign. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Even though it's disgustingly linear, I still think it is a really, really good, uh, good campaign, and I think that's one of 343's better things that they've done uh, with Halo. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's something that I'm thinking about doing. But yeah, so uh, something cool though that I wanted to mention is uh, I've been and I've talked about this on stream. Like I said, uh, a lot of these things you would know if you watch my Twitch stream. But I've been recently trying to put together a Halo collection. Right, which I want to collect every single version, uh, with a couple of exceptions, every single version of Halo that's been released, which is, you know, the normal editions of the games, I just lagged a little bit there, the normal editions of the games, the Game of the Year editions, the Platinum Hits, whatever, uh, the Special Collector's uh, editions of every Halo game that's been released. And so far, 
I have uh, everything that's been released for Combat Evolved. I have the collector's editions for Halo 2 and the normal edition and the map pack disc. I actually have that uh, for Halo 2 that was released. Uh, I recently ordered both the legendary editions of Halo 3 and Halo Reach uh, off of eBay. Uh, so I'll have uh, those as well as the statues. And then I already have the uh, Halo 5 legendary edition with the big statue of Chief and Locke. I've, I've been just I've been trying to put together a classic collection or not a classic collection but just a collection in general of all the Halo games and in doing that I wanted to get myself a original Xbox because I had one but I sold it when I was nine because I didn't really care about it at that point and of course I was nine years old and all I cared about was getting twenty dollars from McKay's or whatever it was but uh, yeah I, I recently actually bought a new one or bought an bought another one, uh, another original Xbox, uh, to go along with my classic collection, and I just, I don't know, what, I don't know if you guys just heard the noise I made with my mouth, but that was kind of weird, but, uh, yeah, I just started my senior year of high school, I'm entering the fourth week of my senior year of high school, and, uh, being a senior, I have some additional privileges that I didn't before, uh, being more free time, free periods and stuff, and what me and some of my friends have been doing is in our senior hall, which is basically this, uh, hour, hour and a half period during the day where we just get to, uh, kind of do nothing, just hang out, do homework if we need to, uh, you know, what have you. Uh, we've been hanging out and we actually have a Wii that we have in our library. Our library has like a 70 inch... Uh, TV in there, which is actually a really nice TV. It's like a 70 inch 4k TV. That's like super nice And we've actually we like hooked up a Wii in there and we've been playing uh, Mario Kart and uh, Smash and just having a lot of fun in there. So uh, The other day I thought that it would be cool to uh, bring my Xbox my original Xbox and Halo 2 and we had sort of like a little 1v1 tournament uh, on Halo 1 and of course there was no contest I won, but it was just kind of fun to uh, you know sit there and play classic Halo and I really enjoy it because obviously Halo is not the main game out there anymore right it would be Call of Duty or Star Wars Battlefront or whatever uh, so Halo is not like the main game that's out anymore so I enjoy any chance that I get to spread uh, Halo with my peers and to get other people that wouldn't normally play it uh, playing it and see them having fun because uh, obviously, Halo 2 and Halo 3 are among some of the best competitive games of all time, in my personal opinion. And so having just a little friendly 1v1 tournament, which we played like BRs to 15 kills on Lockout and Sanctuary. And seeing my friends who don't play Halo normally, who either play PC games or play like Battlefield or Rainbow Six or whatever. Uh, to see them uh, playing Halo and enjoying it is something that's really special. For me because obviously Halo is the game that I've loved dearly and have played uh, religiously since I was about five years old uh, so it's really it's really cool for me to see that and uh, I actually did something similar uh, in my sophomore year of high school I was bored one day in my chemistry class and I have a MacBook Air and so I basically found a Mac port of Halo 1 PC and there is actually like a weird, there's like a weirdly large mod community for that game. And so I spread it to all of my friends and they spread it and somehow word of mouth or whatever, uh, it got super popular at our school and everybody with a MacBook, which is pretty much everybody, the majority of people have MacBooks, uh, were able to download it and land uh, and it's still, and people still do it, which I find incredible. Uh, Basically, people just land Halo 1 and play like Blood Gold CTF all the time, which I think is just the coolest thing ever because I found, and I'm not trying to be like, ooh, trendsetter, I found this and now everybody plays it and I'm really cool or whatever. I'm not trying to get into that, but uh, I just think it's awesome that uh, just based on the quality of those games, and obviously Halo PC is not exactly what Halo 1 was, but it's, it's Halo, right? So being able to play Halo 2 with my friends uh, in a sort of friendly competitive manner and also uh, spread Halo 1 and have people literally landing like 16 person Blood Gulch CTF uh, 
is just super cool and as a Halo fan makes me super happy. And uh, so I thought I'd share that with you guys, just a cool little story. But yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, I've been going for about 15 minutes here. Uh, but yeah, that's sort of my version of this Real Talk thing. Uh, so uh, just to recap, uh, just let, let me know what you think of this kind of video. Uh, because I really enjoy doing stuff like this and sort of taking a break from the trash talk every now and then. And sort of the energetic, uh, competitive player, trash talker persona that I have going on most of the time. And sort of getting real with you guys and... And, and get to know you more and letting you get to know me more and sort of having a conversation with you guys which is something I really enjoy. So let me know what you think about this sort of format of video. Uh, and then also leave your questions for my question and answer video that I'll be doing in a few days. Uh, in the comments, uh, there will be a pretty cool stream highlights video that's going up tomorrow. Stream highlights number 22 uh, goes up tomorrow. So keep, a, keep, a, keep an eye out for that. Uh, it should be going live noon uh, central standard time. Uh, on Friday yeah so noon central standard time on Friday uh, stream highlights number 22 will be released uh, and I've been getting some help from Max Blachi which by the way go subscribe to him he's incredibly talented and one of the greatest and most passionate Halo content creators that we have uh, but yeah that's gonna do it I know I've kind of been sitting here talking uh, for a little bit so I, I hope you guys enjoyed like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video because I really really like this and I would really really like to do this more often because it's sort of chill I don't have to worry about wedding or getting good games or whatever so uh, yeah that's gonna do it for me today I hope you guys enjoyed like I said like I said likes are appreciated subscribe if you're new remember to leave your comments let me know what you think and also your questions for the Q&A but I love you guys much love much respect as always links are in the description to everything twitch uh, Twitter uh, patreon discord uh, all that stuff go check it out merch also uh, I'm not wearing any right now but hype is a factor talented chaotic stuff reclaimer stuff all up for sale now pretty good stuff uh, really good quality fairly priced go check all that stuff out uh, but yeah that's gonna do it for me today I love you guys like I said much love much respect as always and I'll see you guys later